you had mentioned that uh, GBA is a risk factor for disease, which I think we should we should come back to to later. But you'd also mentioned that, of course, not everyone that has Parkinson's disease has a, a GBA mutation. Do you think that this is a therapeutic approach that would be generalizable to those without the mutation as well? Uh, it's a great question. So um, just to, res uh, I did not mention it when I talked and I think it's a good point to make. Um, less than 10% of those who carry GBA mutations will ever develop Parkinson's. So we consider it a risk factor because uh, the vast majority of those with this risk factor will never develop the disease. Still 10% is much higher than one to two percent of the general population. Now, uh, there are a few studies. Uh, most of them looked at brains of people with Parkinson's and compared it to brains without Parkinson's that show that even in Parkinson's without GBA mutations, the enzyme activity is reduced. So um, it's a very interesting question to see whether increasing the enzyme, even in people without the mutation, may slow down or reverse Parkinson's.